Welcome to the XFROG4 flower quickie. Please add a branch object to the scene. We'll use it um, for our leaves. We need a square shape, so control left click the three points and choose right click delete control point and then set um, the right one to 100%. Rename the object to petal. Sorry, I mean leaf. Then open the hierarchy and delete the splines. Choose linear spline and draw this V-like shape. The width should be about 10 units and the height perhaps about 1 unit and be sure to uncheck close spline. Now add a curvature spline and go for the translation Y parameter and uh, change the values of start and end control point to about uh, 25 units and perhaps you want to reduce the number of segments. Now add a filler taxes uh, to the scene, change the number to about 9 then open the hierarchy Go for the arc spline and change the start angle to about 15 and the end angle to about 60. Then drag the spline, uh, the leaf into the fill taxis. Activate the arc spline again and reduce the radius to about one unit. Then add a trapezma object to the scene. Drag it into the curvature spline change the axis to minus y and perhaps increase the strength of this tropism so that the leaves bend downwards to the ground. Drag the mat leaf material onto the leaf object, activate the material icon and enter minus 1 for tiles y. Close the hierarchy and rename the fill taxis to leaves. Then add a stalk object or a branch object to the scene, rename it to stalk, change the radius of the profile spline to 0 0.25, um, reduce the resolution and uh, use a spline with less intermediate points and finally you should bring down the length to about let's say 35 units. Switch into points mode, activate one of the control points of the stalk and uh, simply um, well move one of the control points or even more if you liked. Then activate the stalk object, delete the unneeded control points, set the last one to 100% and finally drag the stalk material onto the stalk object. Add a null object to the scene and drag it onto the third position inside the stalk. Add another null object to the scene and rename it to blossom, drag it to the fourth position inside the stalk, then copy the leaves and drag the copy inside the blossom object. Rename the copy uh, to Petals, open the hierarchy, rename the leaf to Petal and drag the Petal material onto the leaf icon. Then go for the object properties and uncheck Inherit Growth. The Petals should appear. Activate the profile of the Petal uh, reduce the width to about 1 unit and the height to about 0.1 then activate the curvature spline and bring down the length to about 4 units for start and end value. Activate the arc spline of the fill taxis, change the start angle to 30, the end angle to 40 then activate the full taxes itself and increase the number of multiplied objects to about 16. Go into the front view and um, choose the spline. 
and draws a line shape like this. Be sure that the center point is really in the center and at a height about one, uh, uh, 0 0.3 and um, the outer point uh, should be at an x value of about 1.2 then add a Latin herbs to the scene, drag the spline into the Latin herbs, then drag the center material onto Latin herbs, change the projection to flat, go for the coordinates, choose 90 degrees for point B, P, and finally choose texture fit to obstacle objects and don't um, include the sub-objects. Rename it to center. The object should like look like this now. Then uh, drag this center object into the blossom. Copy the center object outside the XROG hierarchy, hide the XROG object, then go into the front view again, activate the spline, go into point mode, be sure that the center point really sits in the position 0, 0, then drag the other points a little bit outwards and a little bit downwards, drag the calyx material onto the uh, I can write here, rename the object to Calyx and be sure to choose Texture Fit to Object and click No. Now you have the Calyx object and you can drag this one again into the Blossom, copy the spline of the center object, then again you can hide the XROG object Add a phototaxis to the scene, delete the arc spline and use the uh, copied spline object instead. Go into the front view and move the point a little bit inwards. Should be about the same shape like before. Copy the petal object to the phototaxis. Uh, delete the tropism object, then you see that they are pointing downwards, so we have to go for translation Y uh, and use negative values. We'll use very low negative values, minus 0 0.1 for the stand the start and for the end um, value. Then go also, you should uh, reduce the number of segments to about uh, three, um, no intermediate points, then go for rotation X and enter noise U multiplied by I plus 100 multiplied with 500 multiplied by X and then increase um, the control points to about well 200 and 300 degrees. Uh, this gives us a uh, nice little noise into the curvature of our object and now we of course have to work on the profile so reduce the profile to about well uh, 0 3 and uh, the height to about 0 and then drag the center 1 material onto the icon and rename the petal to C1. We'll use a second center object, so add the variation object to the scene, drag it onto the second position in the full taxis, drag the C1 object into the variation object, copy C1, rename it to C2, then drag material C2 onto the object C2, and then you might want to change perhaps a little bit the noise function or stuff like that. That's up to you just so that those uh, look a little bit different. 
then um, you could open the scale function and use something like 1 plus noise u multiplied with 1500 multiplied with x and then increase the values so then we have also a scale a noise and of course you have to increase the number of objects I think 1000 should be okay if you want to you could even add more of those objects then uh, drag this full taxes into the blossom object activate the stalk and activate the leaves so here we go with our uh, flower nice detail in the center as I said you can add even more detail um, perhaps we want to have some more uh, petals so I'll increase the number to 22 um, so this was our quickie flower tutorial uh, of course now you can uh, start fine-tuning a little bit I hope you had fun uh, watching this little movie